Hi Scorpio, we're doing your weekly read from January the 7th to the 14th. Um, we're just going to find out what is coming in for you, what is it that you need to know, what you need to be made aware of. Okay, All right, what's going on for Scorpio please? Scorpio Collective, Scorpio Collective. Thank you. Okay, so you've got the beaver and balance. You're being told that hard work is important, but so is quality time with your loved ones. The balance between work, play, family and career must be maintained for overall wholeness and success. Yeah, so... Um, you know, when someone does find that happy uh, balance between work and life, can you please let me know, <laughs> okay? Because um, I'm still trying to figure that one out myself. Um, but yeah, it's, but it's saying, look, it's, it's really important to have that balance between work and play, okay? Uh, you can't, obviously, you can't be working all of the time because that's not going to be any kind of quality of life. And of course, you can't be playing all the time either because then, you, well, you're not going to achieve anything really, are you? Um, I also do feel as well that your manifestations are working really, really well, Scorpio, okay? I do feel that this week um, is going to be quite a lucky one for you. I, I, I don't know why that's coming through, okay? But we have to just go with it, all right? It, it is what it is. Um, so definitely starting to see evidence of your hard work paying off, Um Certain blocks or restraints are, are being uh, removed or dealt with, okay? Uh, things that used to be a problem is no longer going to be a problem for you. Right, so let's find out what's going on for Scorpio, please. What's going on for Scorpio for the 7th to the 14th of January? Scorpio Collective. Okay, have one more. Thank you. Right. The arrow, the bridge, lightning, the wheel, the bird flying, and the frying pan. Oh. Okay. And the heart. Right, first of all, Scorpio. Um, you're definitely on the right track with something here. Okay, it could be your professional life for most of you. You're on the right track with something. You're successfully overcoming your problems. Again, same message that was coming through after we read out your your first article where I was saying that, look, I, I, you know, I feel that Lady Luck is on your side this week. I, f I feel strongly that things are just going to work out in your favor, right? It's that energy, successfully overcoming your problems and you being on the right track, you being on the right path. Um, you're heading towards something really quite substantial here, okay? Quite possibly um, meeting new acquaintances as well, uh, bringing more people on board with whatever it is that you're doing. Um, I feel that if, if you do meet, a person this week, Scorpio, they are going to be absolutely pivotal to the next few years of your life, okay? So definitely do keep an open mind uh, when you're meeting strangers, okay? Especially this week. I, I don't know, it, it feels like there's something bre uh, brewing, okay? It feels like something really big is brewing. Control your anger or you'll be sorry. We, do, we did see that in the last time that we pulled your energy. And ind indecisiveness and now allowing your life to ramble aimlessly, okay? Um, I'm getting this particular combination as frustration. Someone feeling frustrated with their own life. Things not going um, the, the way that they're wanting things to go. But again, I'm not convinced that that's entirely your energy because you've got the frying pan here, okay? trouble and accusations news is on its way to you about some kind of accusations that are being made about you that may or may not be involving another person who th there are feelings there okay with, with the heart energy being the overall energy uh, you could be getting accused of maybe being jealous of someone else or um, someone's accusing you of, of being in love with another person 
person or ho however that's going to play out, okay? I don't know yet. I don't know. We, we need to start pulling your tarot to get more information on this. You've got great passion with the tulip under there and then the broom. New home and new attitude. Um... New home, new attitude. Yeah, we, we have seen that energy come out in a, for a while for, for our Scorpio collective where um, a lot of our Scorpios are, are picking up and leaving from their, their current location, okay? And then others of you are more focused on sort of clearing up and beautifying their current house or home, whatever. But also that word home, that could be a metaphor, Okay, it could be a metaphor for our Scorpios uh, really analyzing the people around them, uh, realizing that they've outgrown certain people, especially certain people where they do nothing but chuck accusations at others. Do you know what I mean? It's like low vibe, low energy people. Who the hell's got time for that? Nobody, right? Um, I do feel that someone else is getting frustrated with the fact that they don't have goals or aspirations in their own life. So we're going to have to wait and see how that plays out in your energy. Okay. I'll I tell you what I could try for you, Scorpio. Because we do need to start clarifying this anyway. I'm going to pull from this little oracle. What is this uh, lightning energy, please? With control your anger. What's going on with the control your anger message for Scorpio, please? What's going on? What's going on? Oh. Reservation, calm, disturbance, evidence, bully friendship and accident someone and mad at making at the bottom of that deck okay um someone's having a lot of accidents at this point in time scorpio and they're blaming you for it okay it feels like they are accusing you of chucking bad energy in their direction and you're not doing it i could see clearly that you're not okay you're absolutely not You've nothing to do with this person's misfortune at all. Um, they're just basically looking for, for somebody to blame for, for their own shit. Um, again, like calm and disturbance, do you know what I mean? They're contradicting each other, aren't they? So that's literally someone else's energy trying to come in and disrupt your state of inner peace, your, your um, calm energy, your, your calm lifestyle, you know, there, there's definitely some kind of disruption here. Uh, a Billy who's making out that they've got some kind of evidence that you're behind their misfortune. Um, and like I said, you have got nothing to do with this at all. Nothing at all to do with this. Team, connection, network, friendship. It's a network of people. There could be there could be a group of people that's involved with this. You've got a Billy who's trying to um, garner sympathy. That they're, they're trying to uh, get a lot of people to agree with them. What is this heart energy, please? What is this heart energy for Scorp? Thank you. An idea. An idea. It's under there, sweet dreams. Why am I getting someone, someone's been sleep talking. They've said your name out loud while they were asleep. This person has deep, deep feelings for you. They've got deep affection for you. They're probably looking you up online, seeing what it is that you're doing, seeing what it is that you're getting up to as well. 
I'm seeing that someone's been uh, quite possibly been Googling their dreams. When they've been dreaming of you, they've been Googling the meaning of their dreams or the symbology, something like that. They definitely feel really, really connected to you, again, with the great passion being under there as well. So there's a significant um, relationship here in this energy, very significant. And then this energy is really unsettling. This energy down here, really unsettling. And I, I don't like it at all. Not with that Billy. Who's this Billy? Who's this Billy in Scorpio's energy, please? Who's this Billy? What's going on here in Scorpio's energy? Thank you. It's off balance. A six of coins off balance. Someone's saying that you don't do anything out of the goodness of your own heart. They're saying that you only give um, because you expect to uh, receive something in return. Going on with this, thank you. Page of coins in the reverse position. It could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, it's someone from your past, it's someone that you know, someone that you know quite well with the Six of Cups being under there. They're being incredibly two faced. This type of person doesn't learn from their past mistakes, with that being page of coins in the reverse, okay? When that's in the upright position, that's about a student. It's someone who's got a thirst for knowledge. In the reverse position, that's someone who's not able to think for themselves. So whoever this Billy is, they've got someone else that's putting words in their mouth about you. And they definitely don't learn their lessons. Not in the reverse position, they don't. What's this evidence? What's this evidence for Scorpio? A ten of coins has basically come out more or less in the reverse position. Okay, but we, we are going to take it as scattered energy. For some of you, it could be a member of your family. Okay, I'm hearing estranged. Someone that you're estranged from. You could be estranged from your family and this Billy is using that as evidence against you somehow. You got the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Fake karma destiny. Ooh, they need to be careful. Wheel of Fortune with the Five of Coins. That's someone who needs to be really, really careful about what it is that they're putting out into the universe. Because that combination is saying, look, we're in very, very karmic times right now. This person is going to see their karma come back to them. Everything that they're chucking out there into the universe is coming back at them threefold. I feel for some of you, this individual is on the verge of homelessness also, with the Ten of Coins coming out scattered, okay? The Ten of Coins in that kind of energy is a loss. It, it can be a loss of finances, it can be a loss of a job, it could be someone getting kicked out of the home, okay? You might have been kicked out of the family home, and someone's using that as some kind of quote-unquote evidence. Evidence against you. This is a group. This is a group. It, it's a group of people. And clarify friendship. Nine of coins in the reverse position, and you've got the seven of wands at the bottom of that deck. So a nine of coins in the reverse, to clarify friendship, that's friends who use other people only for what they can get, because they're incapable of getting it for themselves. 
That's someone using another person for resources, for money, for character traits, anything. It's someone being used. Clarify accident, thank you. King of Cups. Okay, a King of Cups energy. Now that is ruled by Scorpio. And you are Scorpio. Um, I feel that this, this group could be planning some kind of accident for you. I definitely wouldn't accept anything off of this person or off of these people. Okay. It feels like there's some kind of nasty plot here that's going on to try and take out a King of Cups. Or maybe maybe this King of Cups energy, if that's not your energy, then it could well be the person that has got deep love and affection towards you. They could be involved in an accident. Hanged man at the bottom of the deck. They may or may not be a Piscean that's involved with this. Or someone who's just got strong Pisces placements in their own chart. Normally, whenever you see the hanged man coming out, that's right before someone has a massive epiphany. Okay, it's usually that moment right before the big breakthrough with something. Because the legend behind the hanged man energy is it's taken from Odin's backstory before, or, well, uh, right before he lost his left eye. He suspended himself from the world tree. I can't remember how long for. And he was, uh, like, meditating and staring into uh, the lake that, that is beneath the world tree. And he's asking for, for knowledge, okay, hidden knowledge. And he saw images of the runes float to the surface. And that's, that's how we've got runes today. Um, that, that's where that comes from. It's like a sacrifice. And it, it cost him his left eye for, for the knowledge of the runes. Um, so that, that's why I'm saying, look, the, someone is about to have a breakthrough or an epiphany. Someone is about to come into a lot of uh, knowledge or information. That this group is not wanting that information to get out. Tell us more about this, please. Accident with the King of Cups. What's going on? Just Scorpio, please. I swear, though, someone someone is um, really accident-prone at this point in time, Scorpio. And they've got it in their heads that they're only being accident-prone because, oh, obviously you've thrown something negative at them. You know, which it's not true at all. Um, six of Wands, the... Six of Swords, the High Priestess, and the King of Coins. Someone... It feels like someone is expecting to have the red carpet rolled out for them. They're expecting to get a lot of uh, attention, but in actual fact, no one's really looking at them. No one cares. So this Billy or these Billies are attention seekers as well. High Priestess and the King of Coins. Again, hidden knowledge. Very spiritual energy. Your higher self also. And King of Coins. That's someone very successful. I could be talking to a group of Scorpios here who are really, really successful. Or you're building yourself up to be really successful. There could also be an earth sign or you who is fully aware of everything that's going on because of that high priestess energy.
Can you tell us about this disturbance, please? What's going on with the disturbance? Thank you. Eight of Swords in the reverse position. Someone's spilling the beans. Someone's telling the truth. Someone refuses to be um, backed into a corner. Eight of Swords reverse. Page of Swords reversed and a Knight of Swords reversed. Interesting. A page of swords in the reverse position is someone who doesn't have their facts right. It can also indicate someone who's spying on you with ill intent towards you and the knight of swords in reverse. Misinformation is causing a disturbance. Lies is causing a disturbance. Yeah, look, tower. You don't get a bigger disturbance than the tower, do you? Man. I'm hearing a message about someone's mental health with all of this swords energy. Someone's disturbed mentally. They're not healthy at all, and they, they definitely they, they do need help they, they need professional help as a matter of urgency neither sort reversed you can clarify the frying pan what are these accusations what are these accusations please thank you the devil the queen of cups and the two of coins with a king of swords at the bottom of the deck. Someone's not thinking clearly. They're not thinking objectively. They're not using their own intellect. Devil, queen of cups and the two of coins. These accusations, they could be coming from a feminine. Okay, not necessarily a female. A feminine energy which is someone who is more in their feminine energy right now okay um who's th chucking out these accusations about you now again you have to remember this is a general read okay so there could be a scorpio out there who is throwing false accusations at other people and they're needing to be careful because they're going to cause a tower for themselves. So again, you just have to take it as it resonates, okay? Because it is a general read. But when all is said and done, whoever's doing this bullshit, they need to be careful because it's about to backfire in a majestic way, okay? And I do not say that lightly. I really, really don't. you got accusations... Either about a love affair or you've got accusations that's coming out about someone's character, which is really bizarre because I've not long done um, sat, uh, Saturday's Daily Read and that same message came out as well. So I don't know if you've seen that reading yet, Scorpio. You might want to go check out yesterday's Daily Read because that came out as well. For real. We had someone in that read basically accusing a nice person of being evil when they're not being evil at all. It's someone else's invention of who that person is and it's not the reality of the situation at all. That's why it's an accusation. Someone's accusing you of some nasty shit here, Scorpio. And you haven't done it. You haven't done it. You're innocent. You got this group of people who are trying to bully you, basically. This group or this person is trying to do something to you and then they're going to try and justify their actions towards you by saying, what, well, Scorpio did that to me. So fair's fair. And it's all bullshit. Because you haven't done whatever this is that you've been accused of doing. You haven't.
clarified reservation and calm. Spirit's saying, keep you cool. <laughs> Five of coins in the reverse. And the two of cups in the reverse. This could be an axe for some of you. The, your axe is your billy. For some, not all. Well, this is someone that you turned down. This is someone that uh, wanted to have a relationship with you. And you weren't interested in having a relationship with them. So they feel bitter, really bitter towards you. Five of coins in the reverse is normally someone who is wanting to come in from being out in the cold. It's someone that if you're ignoring this person, they don't want you to ignore them anymore. You got the four of wands at the bottom of that deck. A community. Yeah, look, that. there's your major arcana there. You got two fours right next to each other. So it's like you, you had to reconsider something to do with this community. Or you had to reconsider something to do with this. Uh, if this is someone that you were committed to, you had to reconsider the commitment. And start putting yourself first. Making that choice because, yeah, someone someone's very uh, untrustworthy. Really untrustworthy, like. The Hierophant and the Moon under there. With the Hangman, yeah. I'm hearing a fake document. Someone's faked a document here to try and get you on the hook or keep you on the hook for something. There's a faux apology. Why is that two of cups reversed, please? Thank you. The Hermit. Here in pilgrimage. You had to go on a pilgrimage. You had to go on this journey of self-exploration to find this um, inner peace, this inner calm in order to create your happiness, Nine of Cups. You had to go on this journey of self-discovery And it's something that you had to do alone. Hmm. It's under there. The lovers with the four of cups. Yeah, lovers with the four of cups. That's someone that you've rejected. Page of wands under there. They're being really childish about you rejecting them. About you rejecting their advances. What's going on for Scorpio, please? What's going on for Scorpio? For the week of January the 7th to the 14th. What's going on for Scorpio? High Priestess, Four of Swords, A Page of Swords, An Eight of Swords, Justice, The Magician, The Tower again. And temperance and the three of cups is a lot of major arcana a lot you could be dealing with a pisces a libra a gemini virgo aries another scorpio a sag cancerian i know i've named quite a lot uh, and the three of coins at the bottom of the deck <sighs> to the nine of wands this person or these people are trying to block something that you're currently working on. I can't help but feel, Scorpio, that you've got prying eyes watching you. I'm going to have to pull another deck a minute. 
you got prying eyes that are watching you. It's like they're, they're in the shadows. They haven't done anything yet. But it feels plotting. Clarify that page of swords, please. Why, why is that page of swords giving me an uneasy feeling? For Scorpio, please. Why is that page of swords making me feel uneasy? For Scorpio. Thank you. A king of swords and a king of wands. Two kings. Two people. Two people. Could be a fire sign and an air sign. Could be, but it doesn't have to be. If this is one person, then basically they're watching everything that's going on right now because they're trying to figure out when to make their move with the King of Wands. Okay, remember the King of Wands energy is very action orientated. Um, it's like, on one hand, Scorpio, you're being told to think carefully before you make any kind of a move. But then on the other hand, this could be someone else who's, who's thinking and watching and observing before they make a move feels like towards you. The emperor at the bottom of the deck. Strong masculine energy. Someone taking charge. I feel this energy of a very dominating person. Clarify the high priestess for Scorpio, please. Clarify the high priestess. It's almost like you already know not to do anything. Page of coins. It's under there, the page of cups. Another page. It's saying that you already know that, that you've just to sit and wait. See what happens with this thing. See, we got the message of a student, the apology. We, we've had the message of um, someone spying or the card of the detective. But it, it this energy feels really off to me, Scorpio. Really, really off. I mean, it could be possible here, Scorpio, that someone within that group of bullies actually sees the injustice that you've been put through or are currently going through and it's like one of that group is wanting to make things right with you they want to make things up with you you know they want to reconcile but then the rest of the group is still carrying on that they're still keeping the shit going do you know what I mean and that's why it makes me feel uneasy because maybe you're not going to completely trust that person because you know that they're still involved with that group of billies but some someone is trying to manifest you they're trying to manifest a reconciliation they're trying to mend bridges with you. Clarify that tower. The Scorpio, please. Thank you. The two of wands has come out off balance, so they've not taken action on it yet. Clarify the tower and the two of wands off balance. Thank you. Nine of coins in the reverse. Yeah, because they're still involved with that group. That nine of coins keeps coming out in the reverse position. As someone who's just basically become complacent, nine of coins in reverse. It's a lack of commitment. A lack of commitment. Seven of swords at the bottom of that deck. Someone's lied about how committed they were to a situation. 
And now they've got this disruption, this disruptive energy with the tower. What's going on with Temperance, please? The Scorpio. Nine of Cups. Ace of Cups. The Fool. Your Major Arcana. Someone's trying to stop another individual from coming, uh, from approaching you, Scorpio. Nine to the ace equates to the ten, the ten of cups. Completion, fulfillment. Feeling happy, safe, being in a stable relationship, being in a safe environment. That's ten of cups. Brand new beginning for you here. Some kind of rebirth. A renewal also could be. Someone is trying to stop another individual from approaching you, from working with you, whatever the case might be, okay? I feel that there's a very dark energy that is watching the person who's in love with you and they're watching you as well. Hierophant, Ace of Wands, Four of Cups, Seven of Coins, someone's bored, the person that's in love with you is bored of their current situation, they're bored of the current status quo. But when they think of you, they feel invigorated. They feel excited when they think of you. Can you clarify the Eight of Swords for Scorpio, please? Eight of Swords for Scorpio. Ten of Cups. It's the Ten of Cups that we were speaking on earlier. You got the Two of Coins under there. Feels like someone is weighing, weighing out. Weigh, I don't want to say weighing out their options because other people are not options. Um, Queen of Wands, Six of Swords. It's like someone's weighing out. Okay, if I stay in this situation then I'm likely to remain unhappy. <clears throat> but if I go towards Scorpio, then I'm likely going to be able to create my Ten of Cups. Because remember, it's to clarify the Eight of Swords, which is someone in their head. It's someone in their head. Imagining. Imagining the potential future with you. It doesn't have to be romantic. It absolutely could be for some of you, but it doesn't have to be romantic. I'll ask you tell us for Scorpio, please. Can you tell us for Scorpio, please? For Scorpio need to know. Mm. Prelude, commitment, middle of the road, and magnetism. You may not feel that much is happening right now. However, the path that you're on is leading you to something great. Yeah. Yeah, you're at this pivotal stage in your life right now, Scorpio, where you need to figure out what is going to be healthy for you, what is going to be good for you, what's going to work out in your favour. And what needs to be released, okay? Uh, commit to this next stage in your development and there will be a promise fulfilled in some form. A 
that combination screams to me of a secret admirer who hasn't yet said how they feel towards you because they know that the environment that they're currently in right now is unhealthy. It is unhealthy as shit. They're coming at you and they're fully committed. <clears throat> they're fully committed. Fully committed to you. They're all in. Middle of the road. Careful not to get trapped between two extremes and find the middle ground. They need to be neutral in a situation. Magnetic force around you, you uh, you're being given the power to manifest your dreams into a reality. That's kind of like... Um, Middle of the road and magnetism, that gives me the energy of someone being quite sort of nonchalant, you know, someone who's not uh, they're not stuck on one particular outcome of a situation. I do feel that that's your energy there, Scorpio, and wide open the path before you is clear your desires and intentions are supported by the universe. Yeah, it's like what you're trying to manifest, Scorpio, equally wants you. Okay. It could be a person, it could be a t uh, ambition, it could be a target. Just take it as it resonates. What else for Scorpio, please? Your life plan is unfolding as it should be. Yeah. That's that acceptance energy right there. There is no such thing as a coincidence. And when you know this, you're ready to look more closely at your life plan. Your spirit guide has already opened the way for you and will give you confirmation that you're truly on the right path. Synchronicities are a way of attracting your attention and giving you confirmation that you're close to a great understanding. Very soon, you will know your true purpose. Very soon you will know your true purpose. So <clears throat> if someone here has felt like they've been wandering aimlessly, uh, not able to achieve much of anything, uh, feeling that they don't really have a purpose, then that message is for you. Spirit saying, look, your life purpose is going to be made pretty obvious to you fairly, fairly soon. So make sure that you remain open and present in the moment make sure that you're ready to uh, receive from spirit receive from the universe okay and for others of you where this is about uh, another individual who clearly is massively in love with you but for whatever reason right now their situation is less than desirable they're saying that that's going to unfold in its own time. So you don't have to force anything with that situation. Okay, you, you don't have to actively do anything to make that go any quicker. What else for Scorpio, please? What else for Scorpio? Okay, can I have one more for Scorpio, please? Thank you. 11, 11. Somebody's dealing with a twin flame situation here. It says, I am awakening. The universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you to wake up to who you truly are. So when I started to read Scorpio, when I said about how someone's going to be meeting a stranger this week that is going to be pivotal to their next couple of years of their life, I feel that some of our Scorpio collective is going to be meeting their twin flame counterpart this week. That's going to... Um, trigger 
their spiritual journey, their spiritual awakening. Okay. And for others of you where you've already met your twin flame, it's basically confirming the yeah, that situation with with your twin flame, it did awaken you to your true life purpose, to your true calling. Okay. Um, so if, if you're not one of these that feels like you're just rambling through your life aimlessly, if you're already doing something, then you can be rest assured that you're doing exactly your life purpose. I'm a creator. You're at one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth creating something beautiful, something very substantial, and then I'm a pioneer at the bottom of the deck. Independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and in work, and you're not afraid to take big risks to achieve the life that you desire. Yeah, you're a pioneer. You're doing things differently. Um, you're not following with the crowd. You're standing out from the crowd. And that takes a lot of bravery to, to do things differently, you know, to, to go against the grain type thing. That's pioneer energy. Hmm. What else for Scorpio, please? What else for Scorpio? Oh. It's not very easy to shuffle this deck because the, the cards tend to um, stick together. <laughs> right, there you go. Angel over me. So you're being divinely guided and protected at this time, Scorpio. And also there's a message here about your... Um, I'm getting crown chakra as well. So some of you are clairsentient. And you definitely need to trust in your spiritual abilities of the, the clairsentience. Okay. Uh, protection card. Angel, rings, angel wings surround you, so trust. Replace fear with love. You are eternally held, safer than the arms of an angel. You got your spirit guides and your ancestors are protecting you from those bullies. So that you can forge ahead and focus on what it is that you're supposed to be doing without having to worry about um, what those bullies may or may not be attempting next. Okay. So your spirit guides, your ancestors are taking care of that. Okay. Beautiful. Um, but yeah, those are your messages for this week, Scorpio. I just genuinely hope that that has been helpful. If it has helped you out, then can you please let me know by dropping a cheeky wee like on the video. That's going to help to keep you engaged with the channel, but it'll also help to push the messages out to others who need needing to hear it as well. For personal readings, they are available on my website, which is phoenixkiatarot.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.